This is Nuts and Bolts Speed Chain with your keyboard shortcuts for navigating and working with blocks of text in PowerPoint, which is useful for quickly updating and editing the content of your presentation. And most of these are double dipping shortcuts as they work in Microsoft Word as well. And here in PowerPoint, I'll click into a block of text and let's first look at navigating text using the home and the end key. So if I'm in a line of text, I can hit the end key to jump to the last character or the end position of that line of text. It's not the end of the sentence, just the end of that line of text. I can also hit the home key to jump to the very beginning. Now you can combine the end and home key with the shift key. So if I hold the shift key and hit the end key, I will select that line of text. I can also hold the shift key and hit the home key to jump and select that entire line of text the opposite direction. Now if you're in a block of text and you want to move to the very last position of the object, whether it's a shape or text box, hold the control key and hit end. You'll jump to the very last position of that text box or shape. You can also jump to the very beginning at any time. It doesn't matter where you are. If I just up arrow key, control home, we'll go all the way to the beginning. You can also combine this with the control and shift key. So control shift end, we'll go and select everything within the object all the way to the end. If I'm at the end, I can also control shift home, which will select everything going to the top. Now, this is not nearly as useful if you're trying to select all of your text as using control A. Right, so if I just hit escape, if I click into an object and I want to select everything, I can hit control A on my keyboard to select everything. But where this is useful is if, for example, your cursor is right before item number one and you want to select all of the items here, I could use the control shift end key to select all of the items. So item one, two, and three that I could then copy, paste, delete, etc. So that's navigating blocks of text using the home and the end key. And if I click back into the block of text, some other good shortcuts in R with your arrow keys. So obviously if you use your arrow keys to the right or left, you jump one character at a time, but you can combine this with a control key. So control right arrow will jump one word at a time. I can control left arrow to jump one word to the left at a time. I can control shift right arrow to select an entire word at a time. This also works with the left arrow key. So control shift to the left. If I control shift up arrow key, I'll select the rest of that paragraph. If I go control shift down, I will begin selecting lines of text and paragraphs as I move down the object. Some other good shortcuts to know here with the control key is control delete. So if I want to delete the word lazy, instead of hitting delete one, two, three, four times to delete it, I'll control Z to undo it. Instead, I can hold the control key and hit delete once to delete the entire word, which is much faster than deleting them individually. I can also control backspace to continue to delete words one word at a time plus the space and I'm just going to control Z to undo that. Another good set of keyboard shortcuts for working with blocks of text and I'll just shift up arrow to select these two lines are the alt and shift keys plus your arrow keys. So alt shift to the right will indent or promote your bullet point the same as using the tab key. You can also alt shift to the left which is the same as the shift tab key to move your bullet points to the left. You can also use this to rearrange the items in a bulleted list. So if I alt shift down arrow key, notice that the item number one moves down within my list of bullets. I could then, if I select these two rows in item three, alt shift up arrow key, select my item two, alt shift up arrow key. And you can see I can very quickly using my keyboard, rearrange my list of bullets without having to copy, cut and paste my bullets or retype any of the text. So those are your keyboard shortcuts for navigating and working with blocks of text in PowerPoint, which really comes down to the home key, the end key, your arrow keys, and combinations of all of the above with the control, shift, and alt keys. To grab a PDF of all of these awesome shortcuts plus over 100 more, look for the link beneath this video.